What's going on, everybody? As a passionate fan of the Metroidvania genre, I am always on the lookout for exciting new titles to play on my Nintendo Switch. I want to share with you five upcoming Metroidvania games that I've caught my attention. Now, I know that Metroidvania is kind of a nebulous term, and a lot of games get called Metroidvanias when they don't really encapsulate the actual term of what it embodies. But I think these games that I'm about to show you today are ones that firmly fit in the Metroidvania genre. From dark and atmospheric adventures to whimsical and nostalgic experiences, these games promise to deliver captivating gameplay, intriguing narratives, and satisfying exploration. Let's dive in. The first game I got up here is Blasphemous 2, developed by Game Kitchen and published by Team 17. And this is going to be a pretty promising one that comes out on August the 24th. So that is coming out pretty soon. And it continues the story where the wounds of Eventide DLC left off. Players will embark on a perilous journey, encountering mysterious secrets and monstrous foes as they strive to end the cycle once and for all. The haunting visuals and intense combat make this a highly anticipated sequel for Metroidvania enthusiasts. Be sure to wish list this game and visit the official website for updates. Also, this is available on the eShop right now for sale for $26.99. It's actually 10% off on sale for $29.99 until the actual release date. So make sure to jump on that on the eShop before it that sale is over. And if you're into Blasphemous like you were the first one, because I know this was a big kind of Souls-like Metroidvania that a lot of people enjoyed, this is definitely one you want to get into for the sequel. So that's Blasphemous 2. The next game I got up here is Summon Eternal by Eternum Game Studios, and this combines the roguelike gameplay, dungeon crawling mechanics, and fast-paced combat in a unique 2D art style. Assume the role of the King of Darkness as you explore an uncharted world, teeming with treasures, traps, enemies, and powerful bosses. While there isn't much information on the eShop just yet, stay tuned for updates on the game's Reddit page. And like I said before, I know Metroidvanias are kind of a nebulous term, and even in this description you have roguelite elements, but I can assure you, that this is more of the Metroidvania style game, but it actually looks super cool. So check that out. The release date is set for September the 14th on the Nintendo Switch. The next game I have up here is Nine Years of Shadows, developed by Halberd Games and published by Freedom Studios. It is set in a world shrouded in darkness and it tells the story of Europa, a courageous young child determined to restore color, joy, and hope to her desolate surroundings. Armed with her halberd and unwavering bravery, Europa embarks on a daunting quest to venture into Talos Castle, the source of the curse. While the official release date for the Switch version has yet to be announced, it should be here in the third quarter of 2023. It's actually available on Steam. In fact, all the games that I've mentioned today are available for either purchase or the demos available on Steam, but I'm just focusing on the Switch for right now. But this game looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of Saint Seiya mixed with Sailor Moon because you have different armor sets with this particular habit that you're using. You have fire, you have earth, you have water. It looks super cool definitely check that out when it releases the next one i have up here is a cute one this is called little nemo and the guardians of slumberland by die soft games and it is a nostalgic nes era platformer brought to life when hand animated frame by frame art inspired by windsor mckay's iconic little nemo's comics this game offers a non-linear world where players collect toys discover enchanting lands and encounter a colorful cast of characters prepare for a trip down memory lane as this game arrives on the switch in the third quarter of 2023 this looks really cool i really enjoyed the childlike whimsy of this game and how everything is set in playtime and even when you quote unquote die in this game you actually just go back to sleep because why would you do that in a children's type of game so it looks interesting check out little nemo and the guardians of slumberland and last but not least, I have up the game called Biomorph, developed by Lucid Dreams Studio. Now, Biomorph presents a vast and varied world where players must solve puzzles, overcome platforming challenges, and fight deadly monsters. The unique twist lies in the ability to take on the forms and the powers of defeated creatures, making each encounter a strategic choice. As players explore the areas surrounding the city, they will unlock new abilities and unravel the truth about their own origin. Keep an eye out for this one as it's set to release sometime this year. Kind of reminds me a little 
little bit of Mega Man and Kirby as you're going throughout the maps and you're using different enemy abilities to take on the various challenges throughout the map. But I encourage you to check this out. That is Biomorph by Lucid Dream Studio. And of course, there's always a variety of Metroidvania games on the horizon for the Switch, for any other platforms that are available for this incredible genre that I am so passionate about and I love diving into and see what is available. But these are just five that caught my attention. And are there Metroidvanias that you have seen on the horizon that are upcoming that you're excited about? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you so much for watching and listening to everything that I'm coming out. I'm so excited to do all the things that I'm doing on this channel. I got so much coming out here in the future and the creative juices are flowing and I'm firmly in it. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these, let's plays and reviews. My name is Chike and I will see you next time. Bye.